What's up guys, big day for Apple today, announcing the new iPhone 8 keynote where they'll be announcing several new products, as well as the next wave of betas including iOS 11 beta 9. This is coming in just three days after iOS 11 beta 8, making this the most betaed iOS version ever, I think that's how you say it. The iOS version with the most betas ever, beating the previous record of 8. And we still might see another one next week or maybe even two if they follow the pattern of this week. Anyways, what's new, what's changed? First thing I wanted to say is I'm no longer getting this bug right here. It's just a miniaturized version of the keyboard, but that bug has been fixed. I'm not experiencing it anymore. Also within the actual firmware files, Steve TS, the developer, went in and saw some differences there, what Apple changed. And one of them is the setup process. Apple has fine tuned it, you know, mostly back end changes that you're not really gonna see, some to the music player, some to messages as well. And I'm betting that that change in messages has something to do with this here. So really not much. It's gonna be those quiet changes behind the scenes to keep things running smoothly as this is the ninth beta of this version. That's crazy. Apple really, really wants to polish it. And I also wanted to address several things. So first off, is the 3D touch lag fixed? Uh, I actually encountered on several devices, many people reported it too, and uh, it seems to be working pretty good. I'm not really getting a stickiness this time around. So I'd say it's working very well. Nothing to uh, say bad about that in this version. I also wanted to share something very interesting. So a lot of people have been experiencing bugs on the last version of beta 8 that represent seemingly iPhone 8 features that have somehow popped up on this version of iOS 11. And this isn't the first time it's happened. Remember the function bar, a home button, apparently that that happened to some people. There have been several instances of iPhone 8 features happening on other devices. Anyways, the latest one here, this is probably a bug where the phone got stuck in landscape on Siri and never shifted the time, but as you can see, the time is moved to the left as it was reported in recent rumors that uh, the time is going to appear on the left side of the status bar on the iPhone 8. Kind of interesting about that. Also moving on to a video shared by another Reddit user in which he experienced rounded corners on the top of his status bar. It's a very interesting phenomenon. It only appears in one app. It could be an iPhone 8 hidden feature poking through there. Very interesting. Also wanted to take a moment to talk about the shutter lag that uh, I made a video on a long time ago, haven't really covered it, and I went ahead and tested it to see how it compares to iOS 10. Did it get better in iOS 11? Did the shutter bug improve? And it definitely has gotten better. It's not as apparent, I'd say. See, going from darker to lighter, it's got this smooth transition, while on iOS 11, or iOS 10.3.3, still got that chop. Oh, it's not fully fixed, but it seems like it definitely is a little bit better. So Apple has worked to improve that. Ooh, actually right here it's a lot more visible. Ooh, I take that back. It is not fixed. It's definitely still there. If anything, just as bad as it was before, huh? All right, and last thing I wanted to do is give you a quick performance benchmark. And by the way, this is a bug I've had for the longest time where for some reason apps just get stuck, don't download fully, fail before uh, they finish downloading. It's really, really annoying. Apple still hasn't fixed that one. But in any case, I wanted to give you guys a performance benchmark against beta eight and iOS 10. All right, so this is beta nine, this is beta eight. We've got 59.75 versus 59.62. Pretty close to there, very, very small margin of difference. And here is versus iOS 10.3.2, also very similar. So the change is definitely not reflected here. It's no secret that iOS 10 is still more fluid. It feels more natural, but throughout the first updates to iOS 11, we're most likely going to get that feeling back. Anyways, guys, there it is, iOS 11 beta nine. Nothing really big to report. Again, we're probably gonna be seeing nothing but bug fixes from here on out. Maybe expect one to two more betas before the final GM, or maybe we'll just see the GM next week. Who knows? Stay tuned. Peace.